Welcome to Final Punchline, a long-form dad joke podcast season one. Episode four is titled Horace and Dinah. It's written by Caleb Felton and narrated by Damon Alums. Final Punchline's audio engineer is Patrick Sokol and is produced and directed by June Yoon. Final Punchline's available on Apple and finalpunchline.com. Now sit back, relax, and listen for the Final Punchline. Dinah spun as quickly as she could. Her blue and green scales glittered in the moonlight. Her T-Rex mating dance was truly an enthralling performance. Her graceful tail swings and her vibrant, beautiful teeth. She felt alive. She glanced at the other dinosaurs. Surely they would notice her moves. She swayed and kicked dirt into the air, the dust clouds assisting in encapsulating her sheer beauty under the brilliant night sky. Yet, the other T-Rexes didn't care about Dinah. She just wasn't good enough for them. Her childhood friend, a giant boar named Horus, had always told her this as her best, no, as her only friend, except for a raptor named Bill. Bill adored Dinah, the way her claws scraped the ground, how her eyes made that pitter-patter sound when she blinked, and the size of those nostrils. Bill swooned as his heart skipped a beat. If he ever had a chance with her, it was now. Dinah tried her hardest to get Chad to notice her, the T-Rex she longed for. Chad's stature and bulky build was to die for. She swayed and danced like clockwork. She kicked up more dust and shimmered brighter as the cloud settled. Chad was so dreamy. His brown and black scales, his pronged horns, his tiny arms. Suddenly, she heard a small scratching on the ground, followed by a screech that could perhaps be mistaken for an angsty teenage boy. Dinah stopped and glanced around. Was it Chad? She didn't think so. His voice does not sound like that. She looked to the left. Nothing. She looked to the right. Still no sign of Chad. Then she looked down. As the realization about the source of the strange sound started to set in, she struggled to hold back the vomit rising in her throat. It was Bill. This couldn't possibly be happening. Bill grinned a sheepish grin, as if he could tell by her expression that she was totally into him. He slowly inched closer. As Dinah started to tense up, she let out a roar. Bill knew she was saying stay away, but to Bill, it was obvious what was really happening. She was playing hard to get. Then... Dinah suddenly darted into the forest. It's playtime now, Bill bellowed as he ran after her, following the path of destruction that Dinah left behind. T-Rexes knock over everything in their path when they run, and Bill knew he was hot on her heels as he chased after her. Dinah didn't want Bill at all. She wanted Chad. She needed Chad. As she ran through the forest, in a desperate attempt to flee from Bill, she poked her head above the treetops. She searched for a nearby mud spring. Mud springs are ideal for slowing down raptors, as raptors are too short to walk through the thick mud. Her plan was to get Bill stuck in the mud, then cry out for help. Perhaps her knight in shining armor, Chad, would come to her rescue. She spotted one next to a tall rock. It looked thick and gooey, exactly what she was looking for. Dinah rammed her way through the forest, and came upon Horace on top of the big rock at the edge of the mud spring. Horace prepared for the perfect ham belly flop into the mud spring. He stood on his feet, wagged his curly tail, and gave a big snort. He gathered up his courage and jumped off the rock with all of his might. As time slowed down with heavy Horace in midair, two blurs in dinosaur shapes appeared, the small one getting itself stuck in the mud, directly underneath where Horace was about to land. Splat! As Bill struggled from under Horace, slowly sinking into the mud spring, he let out a chilling roar. Dinah, shocked, could only stare at the scaly snout slowly descending into the mud, disappearing from view. As she lifted her eyes, they were met with Horace's eyes of wonder, surprise, and possibly something more. Tune in next week for Chapter 14 
of this thrilling romance, Jurassic Pork. This has been Final Punchline. Thank you for listening. Please visit our website at finalpunchline.com. We'll be back next week. 